garden cart. The sides swing up. So when you put the pins in, the pins should be on the outside, the hinges should be on the outside. Then we're picking up to connect the front and the side. You're going to be doing a situation like this. So what you got to do is slide it into that lock and then just flip this part down and it'll lock it up for you. So that's the same all the way around. It comes with its wheels fully inflated. They're pretty tough feeling. Uh, one of the things that's funny on them, they have an advertisement that says not for highway use. I don't know who was trying to pull this little wagon on a highway that warranted that kind of response, but it's pretty funny. Over here, our handle controls the turns. You can tighten and loosen it to, see, to set how tight the turns are or how easy it is to steer. I left mine pretty tight because I didn't want it to be kind of like swaying all over the place. But uh, it works pretty good. The highest weight I've had in it is about 220 pounds and it pulled it fine, no issues. The nice thing is if the product is too big, you can just drop down the sides, uh, which is why mine is like this because the product I was pulling was pretty large and then you can pull it fine. So if it's small, you can throw it in with the sides up or drop it down for something larger. 